Hey everyone, how's it going? So, um, yeah, uh, we're unboxing the PlayStation Vita, and, uh, kind of special surprise here. I didn't actually think I'd be unboxing all this kind of stuff, and I didn't really expect the whole kind of setup, so sorry if the lighting's kind of weird, and, you know, I was expecting to be at the other house doing this, but I figured, you know, everything kind of got dropped off to me, so why not just do it here? Anyway, big uh, couple changes as far as, you know, what I'm going to be unboxing. Uh, I was previously going to be unboxing the Wi-Fi only model, however, since my dad picked up my Vita, he actually picked me up the 3G model. Uh, he was, his, this is this is what he said, he's like, well, it was only $50 more, and um, I figured why not, so here, have the 3G version, so, kind of lucky. And he also got me another uh, accessory pack, uh, what do you call this thing, the starter kit, that's right. And this includes a bunch of stuff, earphones and headphones and stuff like that. And then I just kind of picked up my own accessories. I picked up this, which is the leather pouch. Um, and I've got all, I got all my accessories before I got that. And then over here, 32 gigabyte memory card. Um, yet the 3G version comes with eight and I've never four in there. So I really have 12 plus 32, which equals 44. So I have 44 gigabytes on and three different memory cards. So that's kind of a lot. Uncharted Golden Abyss, you have to pick this up on launch day, who's not? And then, Wipeout 2048. Uh, I played, uh, I had the console version, Wipeout, and um, I liked it a lot, and I tested this at the Vita Hill, since I got a chance to play the Vita beforehand, and I uh, liked the game a lot as well, so, yeah. Um, those are the accessories and everything like that. Uh, I also figured I got like, this cool trailer playing in the background, which is kind of cool, just sets up the uh, kind of vibe. So, yeah. Once again, sorry for like the lighting if you guys see anything else, but let's get right to it. Uh, let's start with the let's start with the system itself, I guess, <laughs> since we're here already. Anyway, 3G version. Um, yeah, let's find out. So, hold on. That's cool music playing in the background too. Why not? All right, so has a little tab right there. It opens, and you pull this out, and. That comes out to right here. All right. We got two things here. Uh, we got our quick start guide, which basically labels what um, you know how to set up your Vita, how to get it started up, uh, linking your PlayStation Network account to the thing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then we have this little lift right here, this little tab. What do you want to call this thing? I don't know. A little pocket. All right. First off, here's the system itself. Uh, take this. Uh huh. So here's the system itself, 3G version. There I am. Here's the camera. And uh, yeah. So I already played it. So like I said, it's already light. Uh, we'll go over this later. Okay. Put that there. Over here, we got our USB cable. It looks like. So we got the trash over there. Here's a USB cable. Plug in some cool stuff, I guess. Computers, whatnot. Keep moving this box. Here's our AC power adapter, it looks like. It uses it looks it actually looks like it uses the same um two prongs here for uh you know connecting it uh with the um you know the the same the same one as the PS2, so it's pretty unknown uh, there. My trio other soft playing, which is great. Um is this. It looks like we had our uh, power brick right here, so that's kind of cool. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's that. That comes in the box. Now, with the 3G stuff, you get kind of uh, some extras here. And you can lift this up. There we go. Here's our little accessories uh, tab. together hold on get this tape off <laughs> all right so here's our 8 gigabyte memory card it comes with the three uh, the, the 3g version so there now I have 40 gigs <laughs> uh, set that aside uh, again advertisement for AT&T change the way you play free game when you activate the AT&T data connect pass huh I wonder if that's little deviance since this does come with little deviance but be honest, who's going to play that game, honest? <laughs> like, that's probably why they included it, because no one was ever going to buy it. 
Mm, then some accessories, more ads, um, stuff like that. So we'll put that over there. The PlayStation protection plan. Not interested. Um, oh, here's our augmented reality cards, I guess, for playing games like Reality Fighter so you can play them, um, you know, in like an environment or whatever. Bring the world into play. And then get connected. This is uh, another AT&T. It says connect with an AT&T Data Connect Pass plan and get your two, your second plan on us. 250 megabytes, $15 value. It's another ad there. All right, so that's pretty much everything that comes in the box itself. Oh, wait, hold on. Not yet. And then your manual. So there's that. All right, so there's the actual system itself. There's that. And yeah, I'll, I'll just leave this here. <laughs> uh, what else? What should we unbox next? I guess the let's start with accessories. So here's our leather pouch that I decided to get because it's actually pretty cool. Look, you can have it set as a stand. It also stays on your Vita when you're playing. It has like a little connecting thing, so that's kind of cool. Um, let me take this out of the case. Here we go. It's pretty big. And then here we go. So th this is what it looks like fully. Kind of like just uh, stays there and then, oh, I guess this is just supposed to, uh, yeah. So I guess your Vita goes there. Um, let me test this out. Yeah, your Vita goes like that and then it supports, and this is supposed to go over? Yeah. So this is how it's supposed to be. It's just like a little cool pouch there. And it's genuine leather as well, so how can you not like that? So that's that. And, um,. That's how it stays on, I guess. It just kind of holsters. It's probably a better way, but I'll just figure it out. And then you get some pouches right here for carrying stuff. Hold on. Oh, here's the stand. Okay. So you can actually set it here, and then you can just have it stand up by, like, kind of folding this back, if that makes sense. So then it could actually act like a stand. And I'll probably be demonstrating that when I do my actual review of the thing. My hardware review, as I like to call them. So, yeah, that's that. We'll put that back here like this. Um, and then you get your instruction booklet in that as well. So, all right. Let's restart this video. <laughs> this, I'm sorry, this is horribly done. Okay. Yeah, your instruction booklet for the thing basically explaining how to put it in there. So, probably put that, leave that in here. Um, all right, next we have our starter kit, and that comes with a bunch of other stuff as well. You're supposed to slide it out like that. Now, first thing, obviously, we get this little slide pouch like they had with the PSP, and uh, so that'll be nice, you know, if you just want to use that. Um, you get our uh, little card case, I guess, and it holds... Looks like, yeah, eight cards with, I guess, two SIM cards, which is this uh, for the 3G. I guess that's what that this is for right there. Um, so, yeah, that's that. You get, you get a screen protector, which is pretty nice. It looks like it even has, like, you see these holes right here. It looks like it even has a little support thing so you can put it on perfectly. So that's nice of them. And then you get your screen wipe right here to wipe off the screen. More... Uh, Instruction manuals and finally your cheap pair of earphones, which is I guess is nice I was actually gonna buy the official ones that cost $20 But decided to uh, go with the 32 gigabyte memory card instead and then I ended up getting you know the starter kit Anyway, so oh, yeah, and also in the starter kit is a 4 gigabyte memory card right there So probably won't be using that <laughs> But there's a, a 4 gigabyte memory card. I guess if you want it <laughs> Ah I guess the starter kit makes sense if you have like a Wi-Fi version, because um, I believe it's not that expensive at all. Let me uh, see the price on this thing. Yeah, it's it's forty dollars, and you get all this stuff, so it's not it's not a bad deal at all. It does uh, you know start uh, get you going, I guess. Try to put this back one by one is a pain. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna leave that here. Got this big mess here. All right, next up is our 32 gigabyte memory card, which, um, I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this. Huh. Oh, here we go. 
So we open it like that, and then there's the memory card itself. So you can see how small this is. Sony wanted to make their own memory cards for security reasons. They didn't want like anyone hacking it. If my camera would be nice enough and focus on that card, focus. You're not going to focus, are you? Look, I'm blocked. Focus, you. Okay, whatever. Anyway, that says 32 gigabytes on it. Oh, it's, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying, trying, it's trying. And it's going to fail. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll place that memory card back in here. I'll place it back in here so it doesn't get lost. I swear that's the last thing I need. Memory card's getting lost. Those things are so tiny, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, and then finally, our two games. We got Uncharted Golden in the Abyss, um, which I need to open with something. Oh, I just use a plastic knife. Perfect. All right. So yeah, these uh, cases are actually really small. If you place the case like this and put it against the PS3 case standing straight up, it would only fill half of the PS3 case. Just to uh, give you guys an idea of how small these cases actually are. They're Incredibly tiny. I was actually surprised when I uh, got my hands on them. I'm like, really? They're that small? And we're restarting the trailer because... Oh, God. Okay, I'm officially calling this the worst Vita unboxing on the planet. <laughs> anyway, here's uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss. You got Nathan Drake shooting some people on the side. It says, Uncover the Dark Secrets. And then... Behind the 400-year-old massacre of a Spanish expedition as Nathan Drake races into Central America in search of a legendary lost city, Play with standard controls or touch, tap, and steer to diverse and unravel hidden secrets. Intuitive motion control aiming for precision accuracy. And high def cinema, uh, cinematic storytelling through OLED technology. We have one player, 64 megabytes required for the memory card. It supports the rear camera, the motion sensor, and the touch uh, screen rear touchpad. All right. Uh, that is actually right. This game does not include multiplayer. I was actually very disappointed when I uh, heard about this because I thought, you know, just like all the new Uncharted games, they would include multiplayer, but Ben Studio is actually the, the developer that worked on it. It wasn't Naughty Dog. So, um, yeah, they, uh, I guess, they didn't decide to put multiplayer in. And by the way, if you're wondering, Naughty Dog is working on something for the Vita they just announced. So I'm interested to see what they have planned. So uh, hopefully some, you know, an, hopefully like a new IP like The Last of Us. Um, not, you know, not, I don't want The Last of Us on the uh, Vita, but you know, something like a new IP like that is what I'm saying. And, oh my god, <laughs> are you serious? Wow, ladies and gentlemen, they actually, a developer actually found it necessary to not include a manual whatsoever. We have actually come to the time where a developer actually said, fuck manuals. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised there, honestly. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just I'm just really surprised to see that. Uh, anyway, here's our game uh, cartridge. It's like a DS cartridge, except slightly larger. Um, so it's just like a little small memory card like that. But wow, I wonder if that's just for Uncharted: Golden Abyss. I wonder if it's for all Vita games. Because if it's for all Vita games, man, <laughs> it's, a, it's a you know, it's really surprising. Now I know if you buy games digitally on the PlayStation Store, and all Vita games are available off of the PlayStation Store to download to your Vita, um, I know that games are cheaper to uh, download them dis uh, digitally. However, um, I'm, I'm the type of person who likes to have a physical copy of what I pay for, so that's why I decided to get these games physical retail. Um, here's this Wipeout 2048 PlayStation exclusive, just like Uncharted. It says, the future of racing begins here. Experience the thrill and speed of anti-gravity racing with PS Vita enhanced controls. Race up to 8 players over Wi-Fi or PS Vita or PS3 players. Intuitive touch interface and motion tilt controls. Compete with other online players and dominate the leaderboards. 1 player, 80 hot players to the 8, so this game does support multiplayer. Um, and local multiplayer. And then it says infrastructure players 4 to 8. 8 megabytes required for uh, memory card. 
you got your motion sensor support, your touchscreen, your touchpad support, and it actually is a cross-platform game. So if you actually own Wipeout, like I do, on the PS3, you'll be able to play with people who have Wipeout 2048 on the Vita, which is nice. And, oh! <laughs> you want me to look? No manual, but they include an online pass. That is funny. They include an online pass, but no manual. Wow. Thank you. That's funny. No, we're not going to include a game manual, but here's a here's an online pass. That is funny. Wow. wow. It's a great day today. Um, and then your Vita, you know, card right here. So, all right. That is everything I have. This is probably the biggest unboxing I've ever done. Um, but I'm excited. Got the Vita. Um, magnificent, isn't it? It's beautiful. Um, I will be doing a hardware review on this, so stay tuned. Probably sometime in March, the beginning of March, I'll be doing a hardware review, and I will be comparing both sides. Um, I'm going to be getting set up here with my Vita, and I'm going to bring you guys the first 30 minutes of Uncharted Golden Abyss instead of doing the playthrough. It's going to be kind of hard doing a playthrough of Uncharted Golden Abyss on a portable game console. Not saying I just couldn't do it, but it's just going to be hard, you know, because I heard the games... I, Reality Pales, I was actually speaking with him on Twitter, and he said that this game's... Uh, about 10 hours long, but it is over 30 chapters. So as far as chapters go, this is the um, longest Uncharted. But um, as far as length, is, you know, it's on par with the console version. So, but I'm super excited. It's a beautiful system. Memory cards uh, and everything like that. And I'm going to get to play. All right. So thanks and uh, have a good one.